It is the end of America's longest war, and now there are many questions about what's next in Afghanistan. We're chatting live with Austin Community College professor Dr. Roy Casagranda, who is an expert in Middle East politics. Dr. Gra Casagranda, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Casey. Definitely. Well, first of all, a lot of fingers are pointing in many different directions here. President Biden, others are pointing at President George W. Bush. How do you think history will look at the situation in the future? I mean, I think there's really only one way to look at it, which is uh, Biden was president for seven months of this war. Uh, George Bush Jr. was president for more than seven years, and he's the one who started this. So really, at the end of the day, this is his legacy. Um, it's also worth remembering that Obama was president for eight years of this war and Trump was president for four years. And, and it's also worth pointing out that the deal to withdraw the United States was made under the Trump administration on February 29 of last year. And so really, at the end of the day, everything that Biden has done was just the fulfillment of the previous three presidents' policies. And the terror attack at Kabul airport, what, what was that all about? Put that into perspective. So um, the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant has a splinter organization called uh, Khorasan Province, so ISIL uh, KP is what people are sometimes calling it, or ISIL K. And their goal is to uh, not just hurt the United States, but I, their goal is also to hurt the Taliban. And I, and I think one of the reasons why they did the attack was to discredit the Taliban, because the deal that we made with them on February 29th of last year included that no U.S. casualties would be suffered um, until our final withdrawal. And so this wasn't just an attack against us. This sort of discredited the ability of the Taliban to control terrorist organizations within their territory and also to prevent U.S. casualties. And just to wrap it up here, it's been nearly two decades of war, and now there are major setbacks in Afghanistan. Are we ultimately better off here? And, and what's coming next in Afghanistan? So I don't think we're better off. Um, the Taliban now own more of Afghanistan than they did when we attacked them in 2001. Um, and I don't think we're actually done with Afghanistan. Um, I, I think we're going to probably still have special forces operating in Afghanistan, and we'll probably use air power on occasion in Afghanistan. I, like the, I, don't, I think there's this understanding that you know the, the forever wars are over, but I think the forever wars are probably just forever. Um, it's hard to imagine the Taliban ever actually behaving in a way that we would want them to. Uh, you know, and we have states that we just attempt to isolate, and we have these long-term hostile relations with them, and I think Afghanistan will be one of those. Dr. Roy Casagranda with Austin Community College. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for having me.